Scan, this is Station Air 206, Alpha Alpha. Radio check, please. Ma'am, clear. Thank you. All right. Then I steer left just like this, see, with my steering wheel. I think Nick's trying to do that still. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I know that <laughs> one. <laughs> nah, it's right down there in the feet, as you know. And then, if, if well, let's say we gotta make a tight turn, like right back there, I just tap a little bit on that left brake, that'll just swing it right around, so that it's uh, good to go. Then you try to miss the grip at the pothole. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. There we go, we missed it. Get the nose in that pothole right there. Boom! Gives you a, your airplane a nice little jolt. Anchor for traffic, this is Station Air 206, Alpha Alpha, departing runway 26, Griffith. Alright, and it's clear on the right, clear on the left. Alright, we'll check this again, make sure we're right at 260. And we're ready to go. Power's coming in, you can kind of feel along with me. We have a little bit of wind from the kind of the southwest there, so we'll just put a little correction in to hold it. And we're bringing that power all the way in nice and smooth. Unlike the 150, you can just push that power all the way in. With a higher performance engine, you're just going to slowly bring it in and then uh, until you're all the way in. Lifting that nose wheel and tapping the brakes so we don't get that little bit of the shimmy. And we're up and flying. I'm gonna go ahead and trim the nose up a little bit here because I'm feeling a little bit of back pressure. And we wanted to climb at like 80, we could climb right there at 80. You can see we get quite the climb out. A little bit different than the 150. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and bring this. See, when I bring this power back, we're going to bring it back to about 24, 25 right in there. Okay? Then I'm just going to kind of snug it up right there. And then I'm going to bring this one back right here. So don't grab the red one. You grab this black one here, and we'll start dialing the prop back here. And see, it's going to adjust the RPM. Unlike in the little airplanes, you use this and it adjusts the RPM. Our prop control will adjust the RPM here. Right there. Cool. See there? And go traffic, station air 206, Alpha Alpha, departing the area to the west. Griffin. Hey Gary Tower, this is station air 206, Alpha Alpha. Station air 206, Alpha Alpha, Gary Tower. Yes, station air 206, Alpha Alpha, just off of Griffith. Like to transition the uh, west side of your airspace northbound. Station air 206, Alpha Alpha, transition speed depth request to Gary Altimeter 3017. 3017, uh, station air 206, South Alpha, transition proof. Nick, I'm going to give you a little quiz. He called Gary Tower. Uh, yesterday we talked about tower controlled airspace. Ah, okay. What, um, tell me how high Gary... 3,000. 3,000 feet. Five mile radius. Perfect. And if you look off to your right, uh, about where the GoPro, you'll probably start picking up the runway, one of the two runways. Yep. And uh, right now we're probably just starting to enter that five miles. So before you get into that five miles, he made that call and that uh, tower controller didn't really know where we're at, but kind of had an idea because he told them exactly where you're at. Off to the left, you see Lansing Airport there, obviously not tower controlled, so he doesn't have to call anybody. Um, and then another thing he's going to do in just a little bit here, um, he's going to call Midway Tower, and that's what he's starting to do on the radios. You see him moving the, the radio. He's starting to already program. What's there for your uh, radius? Um, I'm not sure. I need to ask Mark a second here. Are you, Mark, you going to call approach or tower? I was going to call approach probably, but I might throw the tower in because it depends on how busy. Tower last time didn't answer me. Nick, so. uh, the reason I had to ask Mark something is because he and I think the same, um, and obviously judgment. Um, I wasn't sure, obviously Mark's the captain, we we make different call um, uh, choices, and I saw him putting a number in there, and Mark, again, we both think exactly the same. Some days, 
depending on how Midway operates. Approach, you would call, where um, the, the, uh, it'd be a little further out. Uh, but you'll see in a moment here when he makes the call. Sometimes they won't uh, they won't take me uh, at the uh, tower for some reason. So I always have the Chicago in standby, and usually they'll take me if uh, if if uh, Midway doesn't want to deal with me. There's Gary right there. We just crossed over 8094. This is uh, Munster, and then you've got uh, Hammond, and then East Chicago. Nick, look right look down at his map a second. Sorry to interrupt that. Uh, yeah, and you, you probably see the airplane there. Uh, does it have a picture of it? Yeah, right there. And can you see it entering that Gary? Uh, did, do you see the ring around uh, Gary? Yeah. Uh, he made that call before he went into it. That's why I'd asked you if he had an iPad because... Good morning, Gary Tower. Captain 30 is with you. 7 to the west, requesting inbound for the pipeline. With that there. Um, Mark's the one that got me onto the iPad, and he's the one that showed me this whole thing because I haven't done this type of flying in years, and I... I guess Captain while I'm here... Captain 30, Gary Tower, good morning. Gary, I'll come to 3017, transition approved. Transition approved for Captain 30. I guess I'm, I'm thanking you again, Mark, because um, I was able to fly all these flights. Uh, oh, yeah. Sounds a Piper 9, Bravo Alpha, you can make a straight in approach for runway 1-2. Traffic about six and a half miles east, southeast of you, northbound, so stationary, 1,900 feet. will be exiting Delta momentarily. Roger that, 5 9 Bravo Alpha, stay in visual 1-2. Station 6 Alpha Alpha, I've got Challenger traffic about uh, five and a half miles on the northwest of you, set out of 3,000 feet, set them for a long straight in runway 1-2. And Station 206 Alpha Alpha has traffic in sight. Station 6 Alpha Alpha, roger, thank you. We'll be back there, see them right out there. Yeah, all right, right after eight, uh, uh, Bravo yeah. Bravo is reverse course going back in, uh, be working over near the BP plant for a little bit, and then uh, head back towards US Steel. That's Indiana Harbor Steel. And then Arsler Middle South or east of there. We got that BP refinery down there. Boy, every time I fly over this, I thank God that I've got a job I've got. Yeah, for runway 1-2, one, clear line. That station air traffic at 2 miles of east of you. Still yeah, that challenge right there. Yeah, that challenge right there. No longer a factor. Here, I'm trying to lift the wing a little bit. Lift the wing, look at that. Yep. There he is, coming in. Station 6 Alpha Alpha, exit Delta Airspace, low level helicopter uh, just off your front left. No other traffic, contact Chicago Departure on 128.2 for advisory. Alright, we'll contact Chicago, thanks for the help today, it's the you, November 206 Alpha Alpha. Uh, the copter's down there, you yep, see him? Yep, yep. Go maintain 4000, that happens to be on. Salvo 2184, field, contact me with Tower 18.7, good day. Hey, good morning, Chicago. Station here, 206 South Alpha. Southwest 2184. Once you cross field, contact Midway Tower, 118.7. 118.7, up to Kiro, Southwest 2184. Okay, station here, call Chicago Approach, go ahead. Yeah, the station here, 206 Alpha Alpha, just north of Gary. Uh, doing some sightseeing uh, along the lakeshore, request flight following. 206 Alpha Alpha, maintain VFR. Outside of class, Bravo airspace and below 2,500 for traffic landing midway. Squawk 5155. 5155, 2,500. Station 206 Alpha. Order 384. Hey, check this out, you guys. Off the uh, left here, they're supposed to be putting up uh, beautiful condos and high rises. Station air 206 Alpha. Alpha, your radar contact, one, two miles southeast of the Midway Airport. Midway out number 3013. It's going to go north on shoreline and then uh, turn back south. Is that your plan? Yeah, we're going to go north along the lakeshore and then loop around the uh, west side of the uh, city and then southbound along the lakeshore. 206 Alpha Alpha. 206 Alpha Alpha, roger. Think we altimeter 3012, say altitude. 3012 and we're at 1,900. Station 206 Alpha Alpha. Roger. Roger. 
Oh, look at those big boys landing in there. Bravo 1049, reduce speed 180 on Oscar. Yeah, baby. Asset contact me with power 118.7. What a gorgeous day. Uh, oh, my word. word. Yeah, that's an asset contact tower 1870. It's perfect. 206 off of it, traffic 12 o'clock, 4 miles west on landing midway at 737, 3000. We'll be descending, caution with turbulence. 206 off of yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. Caution weak turbulence. We got him right in there. Cutting across there. That is sweet. He can fly me to work every day. <laughs> <laughs> if Migs was still there, he could. That would be so sweet. I've, that's one thing in aviation that I missed out on. I, I always wanted to land Migs Field, and before I ever got my license, good old Mayor Daly came in. I, I just shared with Nick when we went to the bathroom before we walked up to the front. Uh, okay, cross Loki at and maintain one three. That's what I used to do, Mark. Back uh, in college, I take my high school buddy and two girlfriends. We come up here, do a zero proceed direct to sale. Get a taxi and go out to dinner, come back and go back and land at Lansing. Yeah, exactly. Stationary two zero six Alpha Alpha five and turning southbound. And 206 Alpha Alpha will advise when turning south. These guys stay pretty busy, but I must say these controllers here in Chicago do a pretty good job most of the time. Yeah, they do. I wouldn't want that job. That's a lot of pressure all the time. Charlie White Sox or a Cubs fan? Cubs. So we got the White Sox here, but you don't want to look at that. Yep. And then uh, <laughs> got uh, Soldier Field, obviously, right there. There's what used to be Mixed Field, and now it's just an old... I know I'm in the UBS tower down here for work. Uh, oh, okay. That's awesome. You seriously could fly into work if Mixfield would still be there. You just fly right in and go right downtown. Chicago is at 3000 we have. That's at 6, 6 8, Chicago approach, plan to RNAV Zulu, 2-2 left approach. RNAV Zulu, that's at 6 8 AC-5078, Chicago approach, it's Sierra's turn, expect to RNAV Zulu, 2-2 left. Stamp, 8,000 for 7,000, we got Sierra, AC-78. Well, there's Chicago. Got the Jan Hancock building, Trump Tower, Chicago River, Navy Pier. That's awesome. You see the building you work at? Yep. Head station in 206 Alpha Alpha is looking around the west side of the city and had turned its up on. 206 Alpha Alpha, Roger. Approach good day, Hawker 662, do number at 7000. Uh, looking for some traffic. We have Sierra and uh, it'll be the RNAV Zulu for us. 662, do number Chicago approach, direct to sale for RNAV Zulu 222. This is what I'd like to you can see right down Michigan Avenue as they're coming along here. Sales, when you uh, come through here in the evening, it's so beautiful. Dad, you see it? It's right in front of the Sears Tower. It says UBS and silver on top. Oh, yeah, yeah. And approach your six mic up whenever it might work for you. We can go direct forward on. One six six Mike out. See Eric Warshaw. Eric Warshaw six Mike out. That's pretty neat right there. Then you got the United Center right over here. Your Blackhawks fan or anything? Oh yeah. Over six seven Zulu here. There is VFR traffic. He's at one o'clock, three miles southbound of Caravan. Make that station there at two thousand. My neighbor's in Munster. Their uncle's the trainer. Station there six oh, south nice. Alpha. Traffic eleven o'clock, three miles westbound, two thousand. 700 sending a challenger for Midway. 206 Alpha Alpha has traffic in sight. Alpha Alpha, Roger, maintain visual separation of that traffic. You'll be descending. We'll remain t uh, visual separation, 206 Alpha Alpha. 5078, going to maintain 3000. 3000. Got that traffic right there, see him? Parker, yep. 220 Alpha, going to maintain 4000. Down to 4000, not 220 Alpha. I'm going to just tip this wing just for a second. That's at 668, yeah, traffic at 2 o'clock, 5 miles southbound, while the shoreline at 2000, station air. Okay, so just six six eight looking. Larger gamma jet eight thirty three left of one forty, twenty five hundred feet uh, for three thousand. Gamma jet eight thirty three start departure at our contact line and maintain five thousand. Five thousand gamma jet eight thirty three. Hey Dad. Yep. Brad works to the right of the prudential building. You should send him a picture, dude. Jet jet three or correct at six sixty, that traffic's now at one o'clock. 
flight attendants are upset. They keep That's watching me switch and see. <laughs> She's like, sir, you need to stay, remain it's here. You're here at the sign seat. And the captain has the seatbelt sign, huh? <laughs> looking at the at That's good. I got him in sight. See him off there to the left. I approach. Approach. Maintain two five zero now. Full five. 3,000 that was clear for the RNA. That's, two, two, that's why uh, I usually will fly two, just the 2,000, especially yeah, eight, when they're landing to the west. 10, so it just 10, gives 10, them a little 10, bit 10, more 10, ease. 10, Even though he said I could go up to 2,500, I'll usually just do 2,000. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, just gives them that little extra, little bit of comfort as he's bringing the guys in on the approach. Hey, Chicago, station 826 Alpha, I'd like to cancel the flight following at this time. 6 Alpha Operator, service terminates 8 miles northwest of Gary, squawk VFR from change approved. Thanks for your help. Alrighty, squawk and VFR, thank you, sir. 206 Alpha Alpha. Yeah, it was pretty neat, and we were sitting down talking to Paul yesterday in the office, and I guess one of the Chinese students uh, uh, that was here a couple years ago. Okay. He is now flying 777 as FO for China Eastern. Yes. And uh, uh, doing uh, back and forth out of Beijing to uh, Chicago. Yes. Yeah, he came by, uh, he stopped by, and uh, it was a pretty emotional experience for him, you know? That's awesome. So, pretty pretty neat to come full circle like that, you know? Quite the accomplishment. So, one of my guys uh, that I actually trained all the way up through, he's going to be coming back to visit. He just finished training over in China, and he's going to come visit uh, here at the end of the month. So he messaged me just this morning and was like, I want to meet up, I want to meet up. So, oh, that's too be, cool. Be pretty neat. There's my church right down there. See the big one with the steeple? Sir? That's my church. Yep. Is, is this Whiting? No, this is uh, North Hammond. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, Calumet's that's right there, Dad, in 94. Off to the right? No, north of, or south of us. Oh, is Calumet the one on the yeah, right? Yeah, that's, that's Calumet right there. Okay, all right. 1080-94 is coming right on up here. It's gorgeous out. It is. Well, there's where we're going to have some fun in a couple weeks. Oh, oh yeah, we are. Got that boat out now. It's a little breezy out there looking at that lake. Oh, my <laughs> yeah, lord. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a little, it's a little breezy. I don't think it's a glassy water landing day. <laughs> <laughs> no, not today. There's one boat. Is there anybody out boating today? South end of the lake. Ah, yeah, I see him. You want a nice stabilized approach coming into a short little field like this. See how we're crabbing the airplane still? And right before we get above the ground, we're just gonna put that right wing down a little bit more and left rudder pedal kinda bring the longitudinal axis of the aircraft paralleling the runway. Then we put all that aileron correction in, right there. It flaps up here to 10. Let it roll out, keep that nose up. Once we're slowed down here a little bit, we just go ahead and taxi back in. There is a taxiway here, and he likes us to use it, so we'll taxi back here on Alpha. <laughs> Beautiful job. Hello, traffic station air 206 Alpha Alpha. Taxi and back to runway 18 Alpha. Low. What do you think, Nick? That was cool. Now, the one thing, if you're coming out here, if you look on the map, there is one discrepancy. It's going to say 12280. That's not correct. So the airport facility directory, and for years and years, even the map said 12290. Okay. So that's something you'll have to watch out for because everybody's going to be using 12290. But if you look just at the sectional, it's a misprint, and they've got 122.80. Oh. How did you find that one out? Um, well, we were using 22.9 forever, and then I saw it on the map, and I used it once, and another pilot was coming in, and he's like, what are you doing using that? And then I was like, well, it changed. Like, no, it didn't. So then I looked at the airport facility directory, and I'm like, oh, you're right, it didn't. I was going off the sectional. So, and hopefully they'll get it corrected soon, but it wasn't corrected as of a few months ago, so... Huh. And we just keep this uh, back pressure here to keep most of the pressure off the nose. The main landing gear, it can handle a ton of uh, 
pressure and uh, abuse and so on and so forth. But the, the nose is what's really sensitive, and that goes for all the airplanes, not just the 206, but the 150s, 152s. you got to really be sensitive with the nose, so that's why we keep this back pressure, especially on soft or rough or um, grass fields. Boy, they got all the birds out today. That's neat. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. cool, man. I love flying out to little airports like this. Neat little place. Oh, 120 there. That's Nick. See that little silver and red one? Yep. I used to fly that a lot. Wow. He's got some nice stuff. Yeah, pretty neat.